Okay. Mr. Right. Montalvo, if you could just make me the co-host really quickly. One second. And we're pretty set with attendance here. Right. See all the names. Um, just if your name is Galaxy Note, I just need to know your name. Okay. So Galaxy Note 9, I am unmuting you. What is your name? King David. How do I spell it? King David. King David. King David. Okay. King. Got you down. Thank you so much. All right, and I think that's it. So while we're waiting, boys and girls, Ms. White is going to be helping us out. She's going to be taking attendance for us. So if our name does not come up, we're going to unmute you, and you can just say nice, loud, and clear what your name is so that Ms. White gets our attendance down. And we're going to start in three minutes. We, we got so much planned for today. That's right, Adrian. I see you're excited. I'm excited, too. While we're waiting, we'll take a few minutes. Um, since there's going to be so many scholars, how, how to raise our hand, we're going to do one of two things. We can give a thumbs up on our screen if we know an answer to a question, because I'm going to be asking a lot of questions, or you can raise your hand. So it's your choice. Just make sure that I can see that. So remember, you can do a thumbs up, or you can put your hand up. But we're still going to give our friends two more minutes, and we're going to start right at 2 o'clock. I see one hand up already, Cabaret. Oh, I see your hand. Hold on, Valentina, one second. Go ahead. Oh, I'm so excited. Hi. Hey, we're not we're not so much fun boys and girls. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go in one minute. One minute, boys and girls, and we're gonna get started here. And remember, if your name doesn't show up, Ms. White is going to say the name that she sees, and we have to make sure we tell her, tell her our names so we can get our attendance. Oh, Ahona. Wait. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. Mm -hmm. You look like me, that's why. That's okay, boys and girls, it is two o'clock. That means we are getting started. Um, so I'm really happy to see everyone. All righty. So I'm really happy to see everyone. Um, I have some really cool new activities and some activities that we did in class that we're still going to do. Um, it's just our fitness class is going to look a little bit different. Okay. Um, so we'll go over our expectations, but just make sure we're always washing our hands. We're staying safe. All right. So some, some basic rules that we're going to go over. Okay. Um, this is good. We're going to do activity soon. So make sure when we do activity that if we need to move our bodies a little bit or move our camera so that I can see your whole body, make sure you can do that because I want to make sure we're doing exercises correctly and that we're using the right form because we know that's really important. Okay. And just like in class, we need full participation. Why do you think it's important that we participate? Let's see. Oh, I see a thumbs up from Adrian. Adrian, why do you think it's important that we are, we are trying our best? Because if we don't try our best, then we won't know. We're not going to get the exercise in. Our bodies aren't going to get stronger. 
So anyway, let's go over a few more rules, okay? When we do the activities, make sure we have plenty of space. Make sure that when you look down on your floor, there's nothing around you so that there's nothing we trip on so that we're staying safe, okay? There's a couple more things too, all right? Um, our bathroom breaks, make sure we do that after our fitness lesson because boys and girls, I'm only gonna get to see you three times every week. So it's a little less than I usually see you. So I wanna make sure that we're taking advantage of this. Yeah, okay? And the final thing is make sure we have some sneakers on so when we do our activities, we don't slip or we don't fall, okay? So we're gonna get through a couple things. Remember, if you have a question at any point, you can give me a thumbs up in your screen so I can see it and then I can call on you or you can just put your hand up. Are there any questions so far about our rules? Oh, I see a hand, cabaret. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, Alrighty, so we are gonna get started. Um, we're, how do we start our class every day? Does anyone remember? What is that activity that we do to get our bodies ready? Oh, I see a hand. Peyton. We get our bodies ready by warming up. Yes, by doing the warm up. And every day, even though we're on our computer screens and that's how we see each other, that's how we're gonna start class. We're gonna warm our bodies up and get our bodies ready for activity. So we're actually gonna start a, a quick warm up, and then I'm gonna talk to you about the rest of our class. So I am going to move my computer so that you guys can see me clearly. And we are gonna get started with a warm up. I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see me. And actually, Oneonta scholars, you can help us out because this is gonna be the warm up that we do in class, okay? So everyone stand up now, make sure you have some space, make sure there is nothing on the floor that we can trip over. I see Adrian's ready so quickly, Scarlett's ready. Excellent, all right. So we are gonna start with 10 jumping jacks. So normally we count together, all right? But today and, and for um, our classes, you're gonna do 10 and then once you finish 10, stand in hall. Once I see that all of our scholars are standing in hall, okay? Then we're gonna move on to our next activity. So let's try that together. 10 jumping jacks, ready, go. So count in your head. You're doing 10 jumping jacks. And remember, once you do 10, stand in hall. When I see that all scholars are standing in hall, then I know we're ready to move on. Excellent. Next, we're gonna do our jog in place. Remember, it's really important when we do a jog in place that we're pumping our arms and using our arm muscles. So it looks like this. Ready? Go, count 10 seconds in your head as you're jogging in place. I see Elijah's ready and doing an excellent job. And then remember, once you do your 10, stand in hall. I see we're just finishing up some of us. Excellent, our next activity, one of my favorites, our trunk twist. So put your arms out and you're gonna twist side to side. And remember doing that 10 times. All right, it looks like we're finishing up. Excellent, next one. My only aunt of friends, you know what's coming next. 10 squats, ready, go. Remember it's not toe touches, we're doing our squats. So hands out and you're sitting now. Remember, you're sitting there and coming up, building up our leg muscles. And remember, once you do your 10, you can stand in hall. Excellent. Okay, next up, toe touches. So we're gonna reach up to the sky 
10 times, touch our toes and come up. Remember to make this a challenge, boys and girls. We want to make sure our knees are staying straight. All the way up, all the way down, excellent. Remember your knees stay straight. All righty, next exercise, arm circles. I see some scholars are ready. Put your arms straight out. Then we're gonna do 10 small arm circles. Ready, go. Remember, we want small, quick circles. I shouldn't see any scholars going like this. We want small, quick circles to get our arms ready for activity. Excellent. Now it's time for our last warm up exercise. This is going to be our high knees. So we're going to put our hands straight up and we're going to lift our knees up. So it looks something like this. Let's give that a shot. Ready? Go. Remember, as you finish up, you can come to hall. Whew. All righty, boys and girls, we can go back and take a seat. So that's our warm up. We can go back to our spots and take a seat. So what's really exciting is that's going to be our warm up every single day, and it's going to help us to get stronger. And most importantly, Get us ready for activity as we're going to do at the end of class, okay? Um, what was your favorite warm-up exercise? Who wants to share with their friends with a thumbs up or a hand up? Oh, let's go to Hugo. What's your favorite exercise? High knees. Who the high knees? Why'd you like the high knees? Because, because, because I like putting my legs up. Okay, so you like lifting your legs up. Um, silently agree or disagree. Did anyone feel their heart rate start to beat a little bit faster when they were doing these exercises? I'm seeing some agrees. I see Carrie agrees. That's called cardiovascular endurance. So we're really going to be working on activity scholars that work on our cardiovascular endurance. And that's making sure we have a nice, strong heart. We're going to talk more about that at the end, but I want to hear more from you guys. Who wants to tell me their favorite exercise and why that we did today? Elijah D. What was your favorite exercise for this warm up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My favorite exercise was. We'll come back, Elijah. We'll give you another second to think about your absolute favorite one. Let's see. Let's call in another scholar. Oh, let's go to Scarlett. Let's hear from Scarlett. My, my favorite. Your favorite exercise we just did. Which which one was your favorite? My favorite exercise is karate. Oh, Corral, that's different. That's not in our warm up. Okay. Let's talk about our warm up. What was your warm up favorite exercise? Let's go to one more. Let me see. Joel Donnie. I haven't heard from Joel Donnie yet. Joel Donnie, what was your favorite part of that warm up? My favorite part was, was the arm circles. Well, the arm circles, getting our arms and upper body ready. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to move on. So, hands are down now. Remember, I'm going to try and call in as many scholars as I can, but we have three very big classes. But I am going to try and at least try to get to all of our scholars, if not definitely the next class. All right. So, boys and girls, it's really exciting because we're going to get time Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for fitness. So, we get three days of fitness every week. Okay. And it's not the four 
that we're used to, but we're definitely going to take advantage of it and we're going to get our bodies ready. All right. So we're going to talk about three different types of fitness today. The first one, flexibility. Okay. And that involves stretching. Okay. That's going to help make sure that our body stays safe and prevent us from getting injured. So flexibility. I know I can't hear all of you at once, but say that out loud to yourself. Flexibility. Do that now. That's our first word. The second one is cardiovascular endurance. That's when we spoke about when we do activities that make our heart beat a little bit faster, right? Working out our heart muscles, all right? That's gonna be our second type of activities. There's a third type, muscular strength. What do you think muscular strength is? Let me see, you can either give me a thumbs up or raise your hand. What do you think muscular strength is? Aaron. Um, I, I think it is, um, um, how, how strong you, you get. Yeah, definitely. Aaron, thank you for sharing that. That was a great answer. That, that's how strong, how working on building our muscles, getting strong. Okay. So that's what muscular strength is going to help us to do. Thank you for that answer, Aaron. So we're going to learn, um, activities for all those skills. Uh, we're going to take one day each week. So the first day is going to be flexibility. We'll work on our flexibility. So that'll be next Wednesday. The second day is going to be cardiovascular endurance. And the third day is going to be muscular strength. Where, like Aaron reminded us, we're going to be working on getting strong and big. All right. So we're going to do something really cool today. Never done. Never done before by kindergarten. We're going to be starting something called a fit flow. So. These are really cool. These are activities that we can do to improve our flexibility, to improve our, say it to yourself, flexibility. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And this involves us standing up actually, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my space and I'm gonna go back to my safe open spot, okay? And I want you boys and girls to do the same thing. So I'm gonna go to my space to make sure I have room because it's an activity time now. So make sure you are standing up and going back to your spot. We're gonna do four poses, okay, that are gonna work on our flexibility. So I'm gonna give everyone one minute to stand up and be at their spot. Okay, in this one minute, I actually would like to check in with a few of my friends who just joined before. I wanna, I wanna really make sure I get your name. So if I unmute you, please tell me your name. So uh, iPhone, right now, what is your name? Hi, yes, what is your name? Hmm? Your name, yes. yes. Ira. Ira, thank you, Ira. So boys and girls, remember, it's Ms. White, unmute you. She's making sure that we see everyone who's in class today. So if she unmutes you and asks her your name, say it nice and loud for her. Okay, good job. Galaxy J8, what is your name? Lau. Say it loud. My name is Hamid Jagana. Hamid Jagana. Hi, Hamid. Hamid. Say hi, <laughs> Mr. Mantal. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay iphone oh got your name all right your name nice and loud if you have ghostbusters on your shirt i just want to know your name really quickly Gabriel. What is it? Gabriel. Thank you. Great shirt. Okay, eyes back on Mr. Montaldo. All righty, boys and girls. So we are going to get into something called our fit flow. So we're actually going to do exercises that involve a fit flow once a week. Um, and how this is going to work is we're going to practice four exercises one at a time. And then at the end, after we practice, we're going to do all of the exercises together, one at a time. 
So the first one is called our butterfly pose. This is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna lower my camera so you can see me. This involves us sitting down. So make sure you sit down. Frozen. All right, boys and girls. So we are going to do our butterfly pose. So I want you all to sit down and I want you to put your toes together. So do that now. So I'm sitting down, my toes are together. I'm not sitting in crisscross. All right, once I see everyone's there, we're gonna do the next part of our butterfly. Good, you're gonna take your hands and put them on your ankles, just like this. After you do that, this is the next part to this butterfly. You're gonna use your elbows to softly push down on your knees. Watch how I'm doing I'm using my elbows to softly push down on my knees. So make sure you're doing that. Since our fit flow is using flexibility, we wanna make sure that we stay in this position for about 10 to 20 seconds so that we can stretch our muscles out. We're gonna hold that. Excellent, that's our butterfly pose. Let's stand up and learn a new one. Okay, the next pose we're gonna do is called dancer pose. All righty, we're back. So the next pose we're gonna do is dancer pose. It starts like this. You put one hand straight up in the air. Do that now. Put one hand straight up in the air. You're gonna take your other hand and you are gonna balance holding your foot. Try that now. So one hand is in the air. The other hand is holding my foot while I balance. Let me see. So remember when we balance, we wanna make sure that our bodies are staying still. So try your best not to wiggle and move. You wanna make sure that your body is staying still. Great, let's switch that up. I think my internet is out. We back, yes. Okay, so we're gonna switch that up now. So this time, put your opposite hand in the air. This is frozen again. What is going on? Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back, boys and girls. So what we're gonna do is, this time, put your opposite hand in the air, and we're gonna do the same thing with our other foot. So take this hand, and you're gonna hold your foot up, staying still. I'll show you from the side, you wanna put one hand up, you're gonna hold your other foot, and try and stay still, holding your balance, holding that still. Let me see. Adrian's got it. I see Jack's doing an excellent job. Carrie's got it. If we need to hold on, that's okay. But eventually when we do our fifth flow, I want to see if we can balance without holding on to anything. This answer that keeps going out. 
Oh man. Let's see. All righty, I think we're back again. Our next one, our third pose is going to be our chair pose. So this is a lot like a squat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands out and go into a squat position. So let's do our chair pose. Hold your hands out, go into a squat position. But instead of coming up with chair pose, we want to stay in the same spot. Notice how I'm not all the way down on the floor. All right, I'm doing a squat and I'm staying right there. This is building up my leg muscles. Let's see us try that. Let's see who can hold in chair position. I see Peyton's in chair position. Jay's got it. Adrian F, I see, is going in chair position. Remember, we're not standing up straight. We are in a chair position. Notice how my head is looking up when I do this activity. I see Hamid's got it. And remember, keep your head up. You're looking straight in front of you holding this chair position. This is a difficult position. We're all doing an excellent job with that. We have one more that we are going to learn, okay? This is called a seated fold. Hold on, I have one question and then we're gonna do the seated fold. Jodani. Hi, Jodani. Hi. You have a question? Yeah. What's your question, Jodani? balance how do we balance we have to build up our muscles that's a really good question the stronger we get our muscles the better we're going to be able to balance so we're going to do these activities three times a week to build up our strength which is going to help us to balance easier the last one we're going to do is a seated fold so everyone now sit on your bottom so we are going to sit on the floor like this You're gonna take your hands and you are gonna reach for your toes. So it looks like this. Take your hands and reach for your toes. I'm gonna to show you the side way, but make sure that you are sitting down. So sit down, take your hands and reach for your toes. For this exercise, you can look down. Great, and let's come back into hall, standing up in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, so we just did four poses. Now we're gonna put them all together for our fit flow. Who can raise a hand and tell me one pose that we just did? Um, Go ahead, Ira. Three poses. Pose. Tell me one that we just did. A tree pose. A tree pose. Tree pose. Oh, very close to it. Yep, so our squat, and we call that chair position. So that one pose we did was a chair position. Who thinks they can tell me another one? Oh, I see Aaron's hand up. Go ahead, Aaron. Um, butterfly. Yeah, we did a butterfly. So we have butterfly, we have our chair position. There's two more we did. Let's see. Elijah. Do you remember? Um, what was it? Remember we had one hand up and we were holding our leg. Does anyone remember what that was called? Remember? Nope, that's all right. It's first day we're doing it, boys and girls. That's okay. We're going to review them one more time. We have our butterfly pose where we're sitting down. Okay. We have our dancer pose where one hand was up in the air and we're holding it. We have our chair pose and our seated fold. 
So we're gonna do all those together now without a break. Let's get into our butterfly pose. So I need you all sitting down, putting your feet together. Make sure you do that now. Take a seat, put your feet together. Now remember, I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna hold my ankles. After you do this part, use your elbows to push down on your knees. So it's gonna look like this. Remember, these are all poses and stretches. So we're gonna hold them for about 10 to 20 seconds to stretch our muscles. This is gonna help us to improve with our flexibility. Excellent, so let's stand up. We're gonna do our next position. This is our dancer pose. So remember with a dancer pose, we're gonna put one arm up and with our second hand, we're gonna grab our leg. So remember, one hand goes straight up. The second hand, you are gonna grab your foot and balance. So you can see I'm holding my foot this way, but if I turn this way, you can see one hand is up and one foot is up. So remember, we're working on our balance. You want to try and stay still when we do these activities. Let's switch that up. We want to definitely do the dancer pose on our opposite side too. So put one hand straight up. And now grab your other foot trying to stay still. Looks good, hold it, try and stay still. Remember, one leg is off the floor when we do this pose. You're trying your best not to hop around. You wanna stay in the same spot without moving. Excellent. Next up, our chair pose. Remember, that's when we sit down, we keep our hands out and we're staying in a squat position. Working on our balance, we're staying still. So remember, it looks like this. I sit down and I'm staying in that chair position. See how long you can hold that for. Remember when you're in chair position, you want your head looking up. Do not drop your head to the floor. Keep your head up when you're in that chair position. Now we have our final position left. This is called our seated fold. So remember, please take a seat on the floor and let's do our last position together. Put your legs straight out. Remember, you're sitting on the floor, put your legs straight out. Take both your hands and you're gonna reach for your toes. If you can touch your toes, awesome. If you can't, try and get as close to your toes as you can. Hold that. And excellent. Okay, we can come on back. Boys and girls, you can take a seat. I'll give you one minute to go back to your spots and take a seat. And I'm gonna move my spot back as well. Alrighty, so we're back and we completed our first fit flow. Who thinks they can explain to the class what balance is and how we can become better at balancing? Let me see, remember I'm looking for a thumbs up or I'm looking for a raised hand. 
Let's see. Oh, I want to hear from Jack. Go ahead, Jack. I, I think that, that, we sh that we should try our best to, to balance. Yeah, we definitely, all these activities, we want to try our best to balance, and they're going to help us become better at balancing. What do we need to remember, Narielis, with balancing? We need we need to we need to stay up. We need to stay up and stay still. Stay. Go ahead, say it. Still. We have to stay still and um stay straight. And stay straight. So would I be showing good balance if I was wiggling around or moving? Let's see, who do I want to hear from? Who thinks they can answer that for our friends? Hmm. Isaac. Um, oh, that's not you. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, can, um, so if I'm wiggling around, is that showing good balance? No. No. So what do I need? Let's see. Who else can answer first? What do I need to remember then if we're balancing? Cabaret. Go ahead, Cabaret. We need to remember that we need to stay still. We need to stay still and use strong muscles to help us stay still. So next class, we'll be working on balancing. We'll be working on flexibility, as well as working on getting big, strong muscles. All right. So I'm going to see all of you again, boys and girls, Wednesday. But then I'm also going to see you Thursday and Friday. We'll be working on these activities. Are there any questions about what we're going to be doing in class or a question about some of the exercises? Let's see. I see a hand over here. Peyton, go ahead, Peyton. Go ahead, Peyton. That in our exercise, that um we did uh, a the well we did our chair and our butterfly. Yeah. Um. Do we do we put our head down? We want it, when we do the chair and the butterfly. We're gonna keep our head up, and that's something we can definitely practice again. Let's see. Let's see if we have any more questions from scholars. Go ahead, Hamid. My question is, I know that on chills, you put your head needs to be, needs to be up and for the butterfly, but for the rest, it is down. Yeah, so we're sitting down on our butterfly. Let's hear from a few more of our friends, and then we're going to wrap up our first lesson today. Let me see. Oh, I have all these other pages that I can look for. Go ahead, Omar. Um, that, um, that. We should, we should, uh, we should, we should keep our, our knees down. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that with all our activities. Um, so let's see, Ms. Fallon, we're about wrapping up. Uh, so, Ms. Fallon, we're about wrapping up. Do you want us to uh, leave the meeting? Um, so, before you leave the meeting, just make sure to switch me back to the host. I don't know if I can do that myself. No. Okay, let's see. Do you know how to do that? I don't, but I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Is it
Oh, May Coast, okay. Okay, boys and girls, so that's our fitness lesson. We're going to continue on Wednesday doing more activities. Thank you, Mr. Montalto. Bye. <laughs> okay, everybody, so that was it.